subscribe to our channel for latest video series on gain UGC net and more. Also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on any latest video. For more information you can visit our website or call on the numbers below. So we have already looked at basic uh, time operations that we are performing on signals. We looked at time scaling, time shifting, time reversal. Now there are uh, several rules that we are going to use that apply to these operations, these time shifting, scaling and reversal operations when we are performing them. See uh, the basic rule that applies is whenever we are performing a time operation on a signal, the operation is going to apply only on time on the independent variable only on t not on the complete argument that is what I mean to say is suppose I have got a uh, signal like this suppose I have got a signal ft right if I am performing an operation I am performing an operation of time scaling then this is going to become f3t right this is how it is happening now suppose I had initially I had a signal ft minus 3 okay and then I am performing the same time scaling operation okay similar time of time scaling operation now what is going to happen is this is going to become f3t minus 3 and not right this is wrong this is not going to become f3t minus 9 no why because this operation this operation that I am performing is going to apply only on the independent variable t t is the independent variable here this operation is going to apply only on the independent variable and not on the complete argument similarly if you are performing time reversal also okay suppose I had a uh, signal initially some signal like this okay and I performed time reversal time reversal means I have to replace t with minus t the function is going to flip the signal is going to flip around y axis now what happens is this is going to become f of minus 2t plus 5 okay this is this is going to remain plus 5 only this is only going to be a left shift only why because all the operations that you are performing are going to apply only to the independent variable and not to the complete argument this complete thing this 2t plus 5 is the complete argument argument of the signal so whatever uh, operations we perform they are going to apply only on the independent variable this is why order of performing the operations if you are uh, required to perform two or uh, both operations or all the three of operations in a single signal order of performing the operations is going to make a difference how it is going to make a difference see Suppose initially we have a signal ft okay and we are required to perform shifting as well as scaling both in the same operation okay uh, fine so you had a signal ft and you are required to obtain 2t plus 5. 2t plus 5 okay so now see there are two ways to doing this okay first way would be first we perform the shifting then we perform the scaling and obviously the second way would be first you perform the scaling then you perform the shifting so you are going to do both of them and see how the order is going to matter so uh, firstly I am performing scaling followed by shifting and in the second case we are taking shifting first shifting first followed by scaling see how it is going to change okay so if I perform scaling first okay I perform scaling first I replace t with 2t so the function is now become f of 2t right now I've got f of 2t and I require to shift the function now I needed a shift of 5 so what do I do I just replace t with t plus 5 now see what happens only t is going to be replaced with t plus 5 now what has the function finally become f of 2 t plus 10 but I did not need this right this was not required okay so we needed a function of the form a signal of the form f 2 t plus 5 but what did we get we obtained a signal of the form f 2 t plus 10 this is why the natural order of performing operations on a signal when you are required to scale and shift a signal then we are going to perform shifting first and scaling second now see 
if I had to perform, if in, in, in any case I had to perform scaling first and then shifting, what I had to do was, I should not have shifted the signal by 5 then. What did I have to do then? I should have shifted it by 5 by 2. See, then what would have happened? This would have been t plus 5 by 2 and when you just simplify it, you would have obtained 2t plus 5. So in any case, if you have to perform scaling first and shifting next, then what you have to take precaution is that the shift that appears in the signal, you cannot give the complete shift. You have to add a correction factor, okay? You have to correct the shift and then you can perform in this uh, in this sequence also. But it is advisable to perform shifting first and then scaling. Why? See, if I am performing shifting first, I replace t with t plus 5, the signal becomes f t plus 5, then I am performing scaling. So now when I perform the scaling, this is going to apply only to the independent variable t. This is not going to apply to the complete argument, okay. The complete argument is not going to be multiplied with 2, only t is going to be multiplied. So this becomes f of 2t plus 5 which was a required signal also. So whenever, whenever you can just uh, note this. Whenever a signal of form f of a t plus minus b is required natural or correct order of operations is first shift then scale for shift then scale okay although you can just reverse this order also as we've done here see uh, so this was not correct but this is the correct way if you want to reverse the order also then you can do it but just take care okay you just have to add a correction factor okay add multiply divide whatever you just need to take care take a precaution there if you do not need to take any precaution then you uh, just follow this order for shift then scale okay now this scaling uh, i have in included reversal also because uh, reversal is also a kind of scaling you're multiplying you're scaling the signal with minus one right so that is what reversal is so if uh, signal if uh, operation involves shifting and reversal then also you're just going to perform shifting first and then reversal if although if a signal uh, involves scaling and reversal then the order does not matter okay you scale first or reverse first that would not make a difference. So uh, this is one thing that you can note. Uh, we are going to look at an example for this uh, concept now. So we are given question. So they have given us a signal ft which is uh, which looks like this and they are asking you to sketch f of minus 2t plus 3. So now see uh, the required signal, the signal that you are required to obtain involves operations on time, okay. Involves time scaling, time shifting as well as time reversal. So it, uh, uh, op it, it involves all the operations on time that are possible. So just now we have seen that whenever we are required to perform all these operations, several operations on time, first operation that we would prioritize, first operation that we would perform is time shifting. First you are required to perform time shifting, then we would perform time scaling or reversal. So firstly we are going to perform time shifting, time shifting which means shifting this signal by 3. Now see, since this is a plus sign here, this means that I have to shift this signal to the left by 3. This is going to be time advancement left shift. So if I just sketch ft plus 3, uh, okay. So previously the signal was lying between minus 2 and 2 and now if I just subtract 3 from all these instances, it is going to lie between minus 5 and minus 1. Okay, minus 5 and minus 1. Uh, if I just sketch it. Okay, so this is how the signal is going to look like. Right? So this is how ft plus 3 is going to look. So now we have already 
time shifted the signal then the next next uh, next operation that we are going to perform is time scaling see uh, you could take reversal first or scaling first i'm just taking scaling first so the signal is going to become f 2t plus 3 now when i am going to scale the signal with 2 what happens is all these instances all these time points time instances are going to be divided by 2 this is going to be time compression time compression of the signal so this this point is going to be minus 5 by 2 this point is going to become minus 1 by 2 so this is what uh, the signal is going to look like fine so this is now uh, okay so this is how this time compress signal is going to look now the last operation that i am performing is time reversal when i perform time reversal signal is just going to flip okay this is going to make a mirror image about the y axis which is why the signal is going to now lie between 1 by 2 and 5 by 2 fine so this is how our uh, required signal is going to look like okay this is a uh, point 1 right so this is how the final signal you are going to obtain now see there were a uh, several ways to obtain this signal from this one okay we 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 chose the sequence of shifting first then scaling then reversal if you all want to choose some other sequence of operation suppose you want to perform shifting uh, scaling first you can do that also just uh, perform scaling first that is first you going to scale this t by 2t the signal you are going to obtain is f of 2t next you want to perform scaling then what you have to do is you just have to take the precaution that the shift that you are providing should not be 3 it should be 3 by 2 okay so with just a slight precaution you can just change the order of the operations also if you want to uh, follow the same order then also it's not a problem okay natural order would be shifting first then scaling or reversal so this is going to be the final uh, signal that you are going to obtain